Morning guys, oh, it's a bit dark there isn't it? It's nearly 8am, Wednesday the 22nd of July and I am not at work today, thank fuck for that. And also, it's meant to be a nice day, hopefully it will be. But, I'm going to get to the gym early, uh, shoulder day, so it's overhead press. But I'm going to start off with a quick breakfast shake, morning shake. Just going to be one scoop of instant oats, which is about 30 grams, and one scoop of whey protein just to get something in my stomach. Because I'm not going to the gym for about an hour and a half. So I'm going to get that down me. Catch you in a bit. Just about to head to the gym, guys, and I'll show you the little pre workout cocktail I'm going to make up. Sometimes I do this when I'm lacking energy. Yesterday's workout was terrible. Um, so I'm going to make sure I'm extra pumped up for this, even though I feel alright now. Got Platinum Pre, which, as you may or may not know, I don't take all the time because I don't like the taste of this one. Uh, raspberry Lemonade. Not a fan of the taste. I can hack it. And it is a good product, by the way. It does get you pumped up. do get the tingles. But I'm not a fan of the taste. But what I've been doing, which I learnt, mixing it with some amino energy to change the taste a bit. So, usually I mix it with the apple, but I'm all out. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do... Filled my shaker with water. I'm going to do... Two scoops. So I'm going to do two scoops of Platinum Pre. Two scoops of this. That was a half, so I'll get a bit more. There we go. So two scoops of that, and then I'm going to use my Concord Grape flavour, which we'll see how this goes. So this is going to be like strawberry grape lemonade. One. And a bit. So we'll see how this tastes. Hopefully it'll be alright. Shake this up and let's see how it tastes. It tastes a lot better. There's a tip for you guys. If you don't like the taste of it, mix in another flavour that you do like. It tastes a bit better. And this is going to be, well, a lot. Of, should have a lot of kick to that now, shouldn't it? So, shoulder day, guys. Uh, Overhead press, 5x5, five by, five, by far my weakest um, compound movement. Then I'll go on to some lateral raises, some rear delt work, um, some shrugs, and then probably do a little bit of triceps because I was in a rush when I did chest and triceps the other day, and I don't feel like I got a proper workout on it, so I'll do maybe a superset on triceps. Some abs, and then back home. So I will see you in a little while. How's it going guys? So we're back again in the gym. This time it's shoulder day, so starting off with some 5x5 overhead press. Now overhead press is one of my weakest lifts by quite a margin. Um, something I'm working on and each week now I am making steady uh, strength gains. So this workout here I started off with 60kg and it felt good for the first two sets. Um, the bar went up smoothly, didn't struggle too much and didn't feel any issues or anything while lifting. Third set, a little bit weaker. And that barbie felt a lot heavier. And then uh, come the fourth set, which you can see here, is where things didn't go to plan and I only actually managed to do two reps and I fail on the third, as you can see. Failed, failed, failed. I did almost get it, but almost isn't good enough. So didn't want to carry on with that weight. I wanted to make sure I had enough energy to finish the whole workout. Uh, so I dropped the weight by 5kg and finished the 4th and 5th sets with 55kg. So looking back on the footage, it seems to me that I did make the right decision by dropping the weight. One thing I am noticing though is my hands, my hand position on the bar, it's a little bit wide 
it's wider than I thought it was so next time I want to make sure I have it a little bit narrower more shoulder width apart that was a little bit wide for me so after that I continued with the workout and I did some side lateral raises and um, 12-15 reps and three sets and I did some more um, side lateral raises more concentrated ones where you lean on an inclined bench then I did some rear delt work with some upright rows and some reverse cable crossovers and uh, some face pulls. Face pulls is a really good exercise for the rear delt. And then I finished the entire workout off with some shrugs, four sets. Apologies for the stupid faces guys, I have no idea why or where they came from. But yeah, so I finished off the workout with shrugs. So, and that's the rest, that's the end of the workout guys, so I will see you in the next clip. How's it going guys? So, just got back from the gym, and nice little package for me. I'll show you what it is. Oh, it's not lit. Da -da. Some of you might know what it is, some of you might not. Probably most of you won't know what it is. Because you can't really see what it says on the box. But, it's my protein discount card. And they've just been released, the new one. I've, I've had a protein discount card for years. You get a new one every year. If you haven't got one already, you've got to get one. Some of them are free, some of them you pay. I think it's like £30 for a year. And you get a lot of discounts. It's worth it. I mean, you'll make the money back on the discount, on your £30 straight away on discounts. But. By the way, disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with uh, protein discount cards, don't get anything out of telling you about protein discount cards, no affiliates, no sponsorship, nothing. Just agree with the product. Shh. Dog whinging. Um, definitely worth getting it. You can get one, for, one that's free, that has some discounts. So even that's checking out. I'll put a link in the description. And like I say, the one I'm on, it's £30. I'm not sure what it's called this year. Last year it was VIP. But as soon as the new one's been released, it's given me, they've sent us some nice little goodies with it as well. So let's take a look in the box. So got some... pre-workout some protein bars that'll come in handy actually while I'm waiting for the others to get delivered train magazine get this all the time from bodybuilding.com anyway it's worth, worth a read, good, good mag another shaker bottle, body building warehouse what's this some rhubarb complex herbs not sure what this does Yeah, not sure. Some type of herb. Some magazine. Oh, it's like training guides and meal guides. A water bottle. Oh, bad boy. Some more food. I use that all the time, so that'll come in handy. Some more stuff about herbs. Ooh. Raspberry yogurt, mass gainer, Connecticut. And a protein flapjack. And this is my protein discount card. A little booklet of it. 
Let's have a look. So it's quite a decent amount of free stuff. So I've got shaker bottles, water bottles, some mass gainer, some protein bars. Uh, some like meal plans and training guides, the train magazine, and some other free samples of pre-workout, etc, etc. But this, my protein discount card, what's that then? Now I've got what I can give away as well. Ooh. Let's see what I decide to do with that. Okay. So this is my protein discount card. I'll just go through some of the discounts you can get. So you can get discounts on my protein, Cymex, Muscle Food, PhD, USN, Optimum Nutrition, uh, Protein Works, Bodybuilding Warehouse, Kinetica, Nike, Corex, My Vitamins, Muscle Moose, Reebok, Bodybuilding.com, BSN. Um, Smart Shakers, Train Magazine, Quest Bars, which is what I'm using. Uh, yeah, so if you haven't already got one, guys, I highly recommend getting yourself one. I'll put a link in the description. You can go get the free one if you want the free one. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the different in offers are, but if you go to the website, which is protein or something like that, You'll definitely be able to have a look. Appreciate Protein Discount sending me the, the free stuff with my new card. I'm going to go use this straight away. And I'll... Um, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit.